Could we starve cancer to death? A wave of diets followed, cutting glucose, ditching carbs, avoiding sugar. But the problem wasn't that simple. Cancer is a living thing that can summon its own nutrients, its own blood supply. When deprived of nutrients, a tumor releases signals such as vascular endothelial growth factor. Then, new blood vessels begin to sprout around it, often by invading and destroying nearby tissue. In the end, it was the patient who wasted away. The cancer did not. In the early 2000s, scientists noticed something odd. In some adults, areas near the neck and along the spine lit up with intense glucose uptake. It wasn't muscle and it wasn't cancer. It turned out to be brown fat. The human body has two kinds of fat. White fat, which stores energy, and brown fat, which burns energy to generate heat. Brown fat is abundant in newborns, who struggle to maintain their own body temperature, but it was long thought to disappear in adults. But it turns out adults have brown fat too, and in the cold, it rapidly burns fuel to keep the body warm. In 2021, a team at Sweden's Karolinska Institute used mice to examine how brown fat affects cancer. The results were striking. The more active the brown fat, the more sharply cancer cells' glucose uptake dropped. Tumor growth fell by more than 80%, and the mice's survival more than doubled. Even more surprising, the same effect was observed in humans. In a case involving a patient with Hodgkin lymphoma, activating brown fat likewise reduced the tumor's glucose consumption. It was the first direct indication that we might be able to starve cancer by harnessing brown fat.